The only bridge crossing the Mississippi River in far northeast Iowa remains shut down after state inspectors found two of the bridge's piers have moved. The state says repairs have started but could take weeks to finish. The state says the bridge is not safe, leaving people few options but to drive miles to the north or south to cross the Mississippi River. KCRG TV 9's Abigail Curtin was in Lansing where the impact is being felt. We were not happy. <laughs> That's Karen Haas, a Beaver Dam, Wisconsin resident who just found out how frustrating it is that the Black Hawk Bridge is now closed. In Iowa for a vacation, Haas says the drive to Lansing was more eventful than she would have liked. We were on schedule, supposed to get to the cabin by 3.30, 4 o'clock, and we did not get there till 5.30 because we had to turn around and go back all the way to Prairie du Chien to cross. The DOT recommends drivers reroute south through Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, but that adds roughly half an hour to their commute or head north at La Crescent, Minnesota, a 40 mile trip. Kind of anxious to have the new bridge completed, you know, and um, it's kind of unfortunate to have this, this closing of the old bridge. Since the Iowa DOT closed the bridge due to structural issues on Sunday, hundreds of Iowans have been forced to adapt their daily commutes. But one of the area's biggest concerns is the effect this closure will have on local businesses. Uh, I would say not only chefs, but I mean, you're looking at a bunch of businesses uptown that I have friends that own and a bunch of businesses across the river, too, that it's the same that people own that, you know, both sides of the river are very, very dependent on either side. So as far as having the bridge closure, you know, it's it's going to affect quite a few local businesses. On Tuesday, the Iowa DOT said engineers have determined there has been movement in two existing bridge piers near the work zone on the new bridge. Work to stabilize the two impacted piers could take two months. Shepard says some residents are looking to organize a ferry system to lessen the blow, but nothing is set in stone. We want to make sure that the communities kind of come together and, and help support each other and, and make sure that both sides of the river are taken care of. In Lansing, Abigail Curtin, KCRG TV9 News.